say? Yeah, it's the Broadway grind. Anyway, I got a list of potential third miracles, although my strong preference is that we do the staff in a snake trick. Those snakes are unquestionably little things that I want my third miracle to be. Hello, good evening, everybody. Hello? Good evening, teacher. Hey, hello. Hi, how are you? Fine, you? 
Great. Welcome to all. It's a great pleasure to see you again. Um, actually, I was like thinking about this weather condition is, has improved a lot since yesterday. Until now, it's much better. So that's great. Um, also, it's a nice opportunity to see you here again, guys. I know that most of you have very challenging schedules because you work all the time during the morning, but afternoon at the full chief, then you are here with us. And actually, it's very bad. So let's see how many students we have right away. Okay, we have nine students. That's great. So the rest of your partners will join us as soon as possible. And let's just start with the class today. I just want to like listen to some of you like telling me a little bit about your day. Who was your day, by the way? Open up your microphone and say, teacher, everything was great. Or I don't know, I have a very busy schedule. So how was your day? A ver, ¿quién se anima? ¿Cómo ha estado su día? Tell me about your day. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. My day is I'm very happy. Wow, that's great. Did you have a busy day or more relaxed? Relaxed. Lucky you, that's great, that's great. Okay, thanks a lot. Thank you. All right, someone else? Okay, who else would do that? Yes, someone else? Nobody else? Remember, don't be quiet. Be you, practice, participate. That's one of the goals we have, right? To have a communication. Thank you, teacher. Hello. Uh, my, my day, my day um, very, very activity. Um, active, very active. I, active, yeah. Last uh, uh, meet of pray in my group um, in the church. Oh, amazing. You you were at the church. Yes. Oh, and then you're here. That's great. So you have the best time ever. You know, in the, in the house of God. Definitely, that's amazing. Thank you so much, Hector. Okay, someone else would like to um, socialize your day, by the way, before that we start. Yeah, someone else. Hi, teacher. Hello, Jenny. Welcome. How are you today? Good evening. Hello. Fine. My my working day is not all okay, but I'll go relax. Lucky you. That's very important. Relax. So we hope tomorrow will be the same. Yeah. That's fantastic. And also, I see you're very happy, Jenny. That's very nice. You know, sometimes we have more challenging times, but when we have a day like that, we have to enjoy it a lot. Okay, I think most of us are here connected and we need to maximize our time because, as you know, there are different contents that we need to study during this process. And also, you got a freedom to ask some questions. Remember that the purpose of being here is that most of us, we have different topics that perhaps we have some doubts or we have some... And points that you would like to discuss or some examples that we would like to, to focus in this class. So that's the reasons why we're here. Así que usted, cualquier pregunta que tenga, no tenga miedo en preguntarla. Hágala, participe, sáquele provecho esta hora, porque esta hora es para eso, para que usted pueda hacer preguntas, para consultar, to work in activities, to focus in, the in some task inside the class. That's, that's what we had. So I think we are almost ready to start our class this day. So I would like to ask you guys, are you ready? Are you ready? Yes, yes. yes. let's start now. Yes, yes. Perfect. So I would like to ask you guys about the class we had yesterday, what we studied. What do you remember we have focused in the last class? We studied about positive adjectives. 
Exactly. Yeah. Thank you. Tell me what else. And we we practice some questions. Cool. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Well, so today we will continue talking with different points similar to yesterday. By the way, that we have the part number one and two have uh, different contents. And, but for all of us, will be a kind of backup because we have studied this topic before, but sometimes it's necessary to remember these topics. So for that reason, we will begin with the following part of our class. Okay, so we have this topic. Let me see. I just need a volunteer for helping me to read this information. Let's see. Who wants to help me to read this? Anna Maria? Hello. Hi. Could you help Hi. me to read the general objective for this class today? Okay. Um, you know, I, I don't, perhaps maybe you can turn on your camera. Remember, you guys, that it's always important <laughs> uh, that all of us, we can turn on the camera so we can see. Remember, this class has been recorded. Okay. Learn this general objective. Yes, that's right. Okay, general objective by um, training of this lesson participants will be able to understand and use possessive adjective my or his her, its, or their in order to introduce their names and to express possess, possession. That's correct. So the topics that we started in the part one and part B are very similar. It's like a sequence of all contents. So let's see the next part of the class. And we have some questions to socialize today because we're talking about Possessions and remember that the purpose also is that we can practice and produce a language. We have three questions that we have here that we can appreciate in this class. And I want you to take notes. Remember that I sent it to you guys to some, this presentation also you have it. So you can check this presentation. We can see here, uh, three questions. What is your most valued possessions? So you're talking about the most valued possession. What this could be? Uh, could be a car, could be a picture of a relative, could be a clock, uh, could be a kind of clothes, a medical that you consider that is very, very valuable. And the second would be, can you remember the last gift you were given? Did you like? So you, you talk about maybe a possession you have in the past or something that you were given. I'm going to be honest with you. I was thinking about the last gift that I that I received. Um, and that was like a box of chocolate. Um, by the way, the, a very nice branded chocolate. They were giving because of, of the teacher's day. I, I got that, that gift. I like it because I love chocolate. And also it got a, a very awesome present too. And this is the last gift that I received because of the teacher's day. So that was a very valuable for me, this experience. Um, okay, so what I want you to do is to think about the two questions and describe what's the most value possession you have now. I will say that in Spanish because sometimes we got some doubts about that. Es como, ¿cuál es aquella posesión más valiosa que usted tiene? A veces conservamos cosas que nos dio un familiar, por ejemplo, y decimos, eh, para mí esto es lo más valioso, porque esto me lo dio una persona especial. O esto porque me recuerda a esto. So we are talking about possessions. And I'm going to tell you one experience. Mientras ustedes piensan, ¿cuál podría ser esa posesión más valiosa que tienen ahora? No necesariamente tiene que ser algo referente a dinero. Puede ser algo que tenga algún valor, un símbolo, a symbol, something that you remember. And I remember I had a student 
like some time ago, and he told me that he lo- he got a a pencil case, a very special pencil case, and suddenly it got lost, and he was very sad because he needed the pencil case, and I asked him, you know, I'm really sorry because we don't see this pencil case, and but maybe you can get a new one, and he said, but teacher, I mean, you don't understand that the the reasons what I need uh, this pencil case. And I ask him, can you explain me the reasons why you consider that is the best? Yes, because this pencil case was given by my grandmother and she died some years ago. So for him, the, this pencil case was very special because it was given by his grandmother that she died many years ago. So that, but at the end, he recovered. Somebody else found it. It was given to him, so he was happy again. So think about it. And later, we will take a short time to socialize these questions in the small groups. Así que pensemos un poquito eh, cuáles pueden ser las respuestas de esas preguntas. Y si alguien pues ya tiene algo, me dice, teacher, I have them. I'm ready. Okay, teacher. Uh, Hector. Hector. My, my valued possession is my family. I I know have family in my young or child. Childhood. Uh, yes. And I I um my family only my grandmother. No no father, no mother. Now I have father, uh, have son, three sons is uh, must ball most valuable possession in my life. Uh, my last gift, uh, my son's uh, give, give, odieron, will, 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 will give. Uh, could, you uh, re- could you repeat the word? Okay. Lo que quiero decir. <laughs> Well, you're okay. Va bien, va bien. You're good. Okay, my last, my la, the last gift uh, is uh, headphones. Um, give my son for my class in English corporativo. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's awesome! <laughs> Head, headphones, that's great. That is a nice gift, right? You like it? Yes. You like it? Yes, yes, yes. yes. I, I lo disfruto. <laughs> I enjoyed it. Okay, I, I okay. enjoyed it. I enjoyed it, yes. Uh, okay, that's awesome. So, and also you are open for more gift. If somebody wants to give you something else, welcome. Yes. That's cool. Um, okay, enjoy. That's a- enjoy it. Yes. yes. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Thank you so much, right? Okay, remember that all of us, we had to think about a possible answer. In, uh, in two, two more minutes, uh, we're going to work in a small groups and you can socialize your answers. So that's, that's the reason that you have to take notes and also try to give an answer because we're writing, we're checking vocabulary. If you have equations about how to write it, you get a, tell me, teacher, I need your help and I help you with that. Acuérdense, si tienen dudas, escríbanme acá. Lo pueden hacer aquí en el chat también. Si lo pueden hacer acá, do it. Ok, mientras tanto, pues ahí Héctor, Mr. Milgar, ya nos, ya nos dio su, su información. Alguien más que ya se adelantó y nos pueda compartir, también lo puede hacer. Someone else would like to do it. Hi, teacher. Hi, Israel. Hi, Israel. We want to see good, you. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Um, you turn on your camera, that will be awesome to see you. Okay. That's perfect. Great job. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my most precious possession is my my family, my wife, my, and children. Um, and ha- helping my parents, I live. Um, in my and my last gift they got me is um, a sweet sweet traje um, for for my 
uh, go at the church. Uh, yeah, I love it, uh, sweet. Okay, so you, you are very elegant with the suit, right? Yes, yes, elegant and the church. That's amazing. And also you use it in the best place ever. That's cool. <laughs> That's awesome. Thanks so much for this. Someone else. Teacher, solo una duda. En la última dice este, que si yo recuerdo el último regalo o la última, sí que me dieron o que yo di. Eh, que dice, you were given, o sea, que se le, que se le dio a usted. Que me dieron. Uh -huh, que le dieron. Si fuera que uh -huh. tú diste, sería you gave. En este uh -huh. caso, you were given, que se le fue dado. Okay. Es un... Me dieron a mí. Ah, okay. Yes. Okay. You're welcome. Yeah. Uno más y vamos a los break rooms para que socialicemos un poquito con nuestros compañeros. So you can... Uh, interact with your partners. Remember that for me it's very valuable that if all of us we are here, all of us we have the chance to practice. Si todos estamos acá, si habemos 23, si habemos 25, todos tenemos que participar. No nos podemos quedar callados. Okay. Teacher. Yes, tell me. My, my, um, my most valued possession are my three daughters because uh, I live with, with their, their um only only that and because i love you so much you love them so much okay fantastic but we don't see you i don't know if you can turn on your camera because you were like who's speaking we don't know who's speaking that's perfect okay continue sorry hi hi speaking um, oh, but but Anna, Mar Anna Maria is she was like, yes. yeah. After yeah. Anna Maria, then you go Jenny, right? Okay. Okay. okay cool. Sorry. Okay. And the last gift um I give I given is uh flowers, and I like it the rose. Hey, you like roses. Yes. Okay, nice. Uh -huh. what, what was the reason, may I ask, what was the reason of this gift? It was a birthday? Uh, was a... It's the mother, mother Day. Okay, the Mother's Day. Okay, cool. Mother's Day. Uh -huh. Nice. Only that teacher. Thank you. <laughs> it's a pleasure. Yeah, thank you. thank you. Okay, Jenny. Okay. Uh, my value possession uh, is a master... Mastercraft ring was given to me, my sister. You said a ring? Uh, a master class, a master class ring was given to me, my sister. Okay. Um, and remember the last gift giving yes a pile of uh, eating, aretes, eating was yeah giving, earrings yeah of course yeah eating was given to me my boyfriend oh cool your boyfriend gave you this pair of rings of uh, earrings that's nice Nice present. I like. Yeah. I like to remember. Oh, you like to remember that? Okay, so maybe you can ask him another pair of uh, earrings. <laughs> Taking advantage. Okay. All right. Okay, so we're gonna work in a small uh, breakup rooms, and we will have a short time to socialize this uh, available in a briefly way. So let me see. We are. Okay. Vamos a formar rápidamente en los breakout rooms y vamos así brevemente en pequeños grupos. Vamos a compartir nuestras, nuestra información. Va a ser de manera breve para que podamos eh, continuar con, los, con la siguiente información. Así que, eh, let's start with the breakout rooms. And we're going to make seven groups. So, vamos a iniciar y aceptamos todos en este momento el lugar. ¿Qué va a hacer? Usted va a contar brevemente eh, sus respuestas. Ok.
a Sonia Mendoza. Eh, Sonia Mendoza, are you there? Well, the sun is to remember. Oh, yes. Yes. Okay. Can I start now? Okay, guys. No. I can try to respond this question. What? Uh, my most valuable possession is my family. Uh, my son, my wife, my parents. Oh, okay, and I can see this question. Okay. You finish on Walter? Uh, uh, and second question, uh, remember the last guy gift? Uh, well, uh, the last gift, um, uh, control the play PlayStation. Uh, I am fanatic the games. Uh, the gift uh, give me uh, Father Day. Okay. And now, would you like to speak now, Dalila? Mm -hmm. Well, my your most valuable position is a music box. I have a team. I watch you and remember you given a chocolate. Uh, I love you. Chocolate. chocolate. Yeah. And the second question, can you remember the last gift you were given? Did you like? Uh, what is the what is the university? Uh, in, in the ring. Okay. Oh, thank you. Ah, <laughs> the master in Salvador. University El Salvador. Yeah. Universe. Oh, El Salvador University. Okay. El Salvador okay. University. Okay. Excellent. Congratulations. <laughs> Gracias. <laughs> Yo creo que y ahí ya no están compartiendo pantalla que está ya finished. No. Ah, yeah. oh, sí. Teacher, finish the... Hello, teacher. <laughs> no, no, no está ahí. Pero yo creo que queda grabado. <laughs> sí. <laughs> ok. Finish. You finished. You finished, guys. Ok, that's great. I think we'll go back to the our main stage.
okay, we will go back after the practice that we have had together. And I'm just going to give you like some invaluable information because some of you couldn't attend the class yesterday because of the situations about the rain. So remember that we have the platforms and also we have a lot of work to do. And as, as you can see in the, um, in a, well, in a picture, you can appreciate here that we have this line, pre-intermediate model one. Eh, para esta semana tenemos que trabajar tanto la sección 1 como la sección 2. Como les explicaba el día de ayer, es un poco movido, pero eh, así es como estamos trabajando esta parte para que usted pues lo pueda tomar en cuenta. Los ejercicios son súper cortos. Eh, tenemos que culminar para esta semana lo que es la sección 1 y la sección 2. Entonces usted puede entrar a la plataforma y realizar lo que son los ejercicios. Yo les comentaba de que para la primera semana tenemos que culminar estas dos secciones. Luego, la semana 2, vamos a trabajar lo que es la sección 3 y el midterm, que es el que está acá. Miren, ahí dice el número de preguntitas. Es súper corto. Y luego, la, la cuarta semana, tendremos que, eh, bueno, en este caso, la sección 3, eh, la tercera semana, Nosotros trabajamos la sección 4 y la cuarta semana vamos a trabajar la sección 5 y final. Y entonces concluimos. Repetimos, para esta semana trabajaremos la sección 1 y 2. Para la semana 2 trabajaremos la sección 3 y el midterm que está acá. Para la, sex, eh, la semana 3 trabajaremos la sección 4 Y para la semana 4 trabajaremos la sección 5 y el examen final. Eh, si usted ha entrado, va a ver que los ejercicios son súper sencillos y requieren más que todo práctica, ¿verdad? Eso es para que usted lo pueda tomar en cuenta y lo vaya trabajando. Eh, como dicen, esta semana así es bastante movida porque son dos, pero realmente súper corto y es un repaso de lo que... Eh, Y es bastante corto, realmente. es Los ejercicios, usted los va a ver ahí. Y es un repaso de lo que usted ha realizado durante este proceso. And when the general question or different situation is necessary to answer. Um, eh, Joanna, you're asking about the exercises of the, of the platforms or general answers? Because, for general example... General answers. Well, in this case, you have, a, you have to answer no matter what grammar structure it is. Like in this one, we were socializing, so don't worry about it. But in the platform, if they ask you about the simple present, you have to use the simple present. If the platform is requesting the verb be, you have to answer with the verb be. So you have to respect the grammar structures used in the, in the exercises. But here in this conversation, you can use all, all the structures. The goal is that okay. we can understand you. We can understand your ideas and you can practice. That's, that's one of the main points. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's go back with the main practice. Yesterday, we were working a little bit um, about the use of possessive adjectives. We were saying that and we use possessive adjectives to talk about possessions. Hablamos un poquito de posesiones y hacíamos una referencia en los pronombres como my, your, his, her, it's, um, our, your, and their. Cada uno representando los possessives. Hicimos unos ejercicios. Haciendo un backup related to the last exercise, we're going to try to answer together the following exercises here because it's actually pretty easy. So it's not a big deal. Um, what do you see in the picture? It says complete the description with my, your, his, her, or, or their. So for that reason, we're going to work together. Dear Sue. In this case, Sue is a name. is the name of a person. So, dear Sue, this is a photo of in uh, which my, of the following? Oh. My, my, my family. My, my family. My. So, we my could family. use a, my family. We are just, family. yeah, we're just finishing the run. Maybe they are in a marathon. That's the reason why they are talking about finishing the run because they are in a marathon. You can see in the picture that they are like trying to, you know, exercise and all stuff here. Um, this is dad. My dad. My dad. 
He was really pleased with he was really pleased with time. His yeah. his time. His time because he, because he was running. He was pleased oh, with God. his time. Yeah, because it's referred to that. He's referred to him, yes, because he was in the marathon. So he was running. Okay. He ran 10 kilometers in 55 minutes. This is um, my, my mom. My mom. Okay. My mom. Okay, it's introducing my mom. mom. Okay, let's it's introduce more. Mom. She was she she's wearing ella está usando, ¿qué está usando? What she's wearing? Care. What is the meaning of race? A uh, carrera, when you run in a marathon, that's the, the meaning about that. So, and so yeah. in this case, would be her, yeah. her race her numbers. Race. What I can see is like 502, right? You can see the picture is like 502. She was running a race number. This is, yeah, it's my dog. dog. My dog. I don't. I don't. Mm -hmm. don't. Hasta el, hasta el perro fue al Alan. <laughs> okay, that's cool. And uh, this is my dog. The dog's wearing. It's or there. There. Oh. I can see that the, the all the. Ajá, como que le han dado todos. Al, bueno, no se ve muy bien, pero como que el perrito tiene todas las medallas. Oh. Oh. Uh, okay. No. Oh, yes, of course. Is wearing or medals? Y para decir medallas en inglés se dice medals, 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 medals. Yes. Um, the next one is: Do you and my family? My family. My family. My family. My family. No. Your family. Yes. Family. Is your family because you're asking? Le está preguntando directamente a la persona. Y ti y tu familia también practican o hacen deportes juntos. You know, do and your family do any sports together? Love Julia. Um, in the photo, you can also see. Mm. You, yours, yours, your friends, friends. Mm. Well, our, our friends, our, our friends. Uh -huh, okay, our, our friends friend. because you're talking about a family. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you know in the photo you you can also see our friends Harry and Kimberly. Harry, Kimberly. They always do the race mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. And yours, yours. Look at that. They're exactly. So we're talking about their escapers. Yeah, that's right. They're they're escapers. Yes, in sus patinetas. In this case, it's on their escapers in sus patinetas. So you can see that we have like thought about this race. I have a question. Do you have uh, some, do, do you, do and your family do any sports together or not? One of you do something like this? No, teacher. No, 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 no. Your, your family run? Run. Evelyn? Together, no. Not together. Okay, you should dedicate a time for that. Maybe that would be funny. You take a time <laughs> for your family and exercise, practice sports, basketball, soccer. That would be awesome and a special time with your family. Yeah, it's a recommendation. <laughs> bien, eh, muy bien. Entonces, eh, pudimos ver ahí algunos eh, parte de los exercises. Y aquí pues vemos un ejercicio eh, just to <laughs> like practice. Use a possessive um, adjective to complete the, the conversation. So we have this one. What's that? It's um, a photo of. Let's try to get like an any idea. My family? 
This is my sister in you, her husband. Your husband. Oh, oh. Your husband. Okay. And her husband is her esposo, husband. right? Is su esposo, her husband. Yes. They have two children. Their names. Your names. Para decir que sus nombres, su de ellos, ¿cuál sería? Their. 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 names are Their. 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 So you can see Latin names, Latin American names. Karina and Juan are Latin American names. Are those? Are those? My parents. My parents. No. Our parents. Our parents. No, because. Your. Uh -huh. Are those your parents? Your parents. Exactly. In this case, we, we got an extra E there. Parents. parents well that's my mother and that's my stepfather who is the stepfather who is his son who's the father what is the stepfather what sería la la cinco no no teacher is the, the word stepfather padrastro Oh, okay. Yeah, stepfather, yeah. Mm. Step, no, es, ajá, es un padrastro, es un stepfather. Cuando un, un nombre de un familiar empiece con step, por ejemplo, stepbrother, stepsister, eh, es para decir, eh, ya sea si es padrastro, madrastra, oh, hijastro, oh, ajá, oh, stepbrother, oh, hermanastro, oh, stepsister, oh, hermanastro. Okay. Entonces, la, la número cinco sería, his name is Leon. His name. His so, name. His name. So name nombre. is Leon. Yes, his name is Leon. So you can see. In a simple conversation, it could sound very basic, but sometimes people um, get confused easily. Eh, luego tenemos un tema que es los WD's questions. Tenemos el who, what, when, which, where, how, and why. So we have some statements about that. Um, este se pronuncia who. 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 What. 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 When. 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 Which. 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 Where. 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 Where? How? 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 So the pronunciation is very important about this vocabulary. And we have some meanings about who. What is the meaning in Spanish about who? Quien. Uh -huh. Quien. O oh, para singular a plural, ¿verdad? ¿Quién lo tienes? Quien. Who is that boy? My brother, Tom. When. ¿Qué significa when? When. Cuando. 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 Para, uh, para referirnos yes. a tiempo. Ese se refiere a tiempo. When. When is the party? ¿Cuándo es la fiesta? It's on Friday at 2 o'clock. Mm. What? 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 ¿Qué? ¿Qué? What is on the ¿Cuál? table? ¿Qué es lo que está en la mesa? There is a pencil. There is a pencil. So what is on the table? There is a pencil. Yeah, there's a pencil. Eh, recuerden que nosotros, bueno, nuestro acento tiene que tenemos que hacerle un cambio a nuestro acento, porque así como nosotros pronunciamos en español, así, así como es la palabra, así lo pronunciamos. En inglés tenemos que darle un acento distinto. No es lo mismo decir what, que what. Uh, when, when. So we try to switch the pronunciation. Luego tenemos okay. why. 
Why. ¿Qué significaba why? Sí. ¿Por, qué? ¿Por, qué? ¿Por, qué? ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué? En forma de pregunta. Why. 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 Right. Why? ¿Por qué estás why? tarde? Why? Why? Because I missed the bus. Why are you late? But why are you late? Where are you? Why are you late? Where are you late? Why are you late? Because I missed the bus. I missed my bus. Because I missed the bus. Because yes. El, el inglés es más simple en ese sentido. Nosotros decimos oh porque le damos un le damos un acento como cantado nosotros en en español pero en inglés es un poco más frío. Why are you late? Because I missed the bus. I work in that. I do this one. I break. It's like más simple. El inglés es mucho más simple en su forma de pronunciación. Luego tenemos where. 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 Donde. Donde. Correcto. Donde. Where is your book? Where is your book? Where is your book? Where do you live? Where is your book? Where is your book? It is in the bag. It is in the bag. It is in the bag. That's right. Where do you live? It is in the bag. ¿Qué otras qué otras preguntas? ¿Qué pregunta podríamos hacer con who? A ver, ayúdenme. El who más el verbo be. Who is your brother? Who is your teacher? My teacher is teacher William. Who is your boss? Who are your friends? ¿Quiénes son tus amigos? Who are your friends? ¿Qué preguntas podríamos utilizar con when? When. When is your birthday? When is your oh, when is your birthday? When, when is your school? When is your birthday? When is your vacation? Oh, eh, en este caso, ¿cuándo es tu vacación? Ajá. Muy bien, porque nos refiere a tiempo. When is your birthday? When. Otra pregunta con when? When is your school? Oh, ¿Cuándo es? When is your graduation? When do you move? When is your graduation? My graduation is the next month, the next week. Eh, ¿Cómo digo en inglés? ¿Cuándo es la fiesta? When is the party? When is your party? Yes, that's right. When is the party? Vamos con what. ¿Qué preguntas podríamos hacer con what? What time? What kind of music do you like to listen to? Um, what kind of music do you like? Mm -hmm. ¿Qué otra pregunta? What, what sport do you play? What? Can you, can you repeat that? What sport do you play? What sport do you play? What do you play today? Okay. What are you doing? No. What are you doing? ¿Qué estás haciendo? What are you doing? Do you do today? Um, I'm, I'm playing. I'm playing video games. I'm practicing, studying. Okay, vamos con why. Eh, ¿Qué preguntas podríamos utilizar con el why más el verbo be? ¿Cómo digo en inglés? Eh, ¿Por qué estás tarde? Why are you late? Why are you late? ¿Y qué respuesta podríamos dar? Um, Because I... I... Because I woke up very late. Because I have a, an accident. Okay. Because makes... I forgot my class. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Where is it my... Because I sleep. <laughs> okay, that different... Good answers. Good answers. Okay. You can appreciate the next one. Why are you hungry? Oh, because, you know, I didn't have time to eat something. Another, otra pregunta con el why más el verbo be. Why is she sad? 
So we have, uh, why is she sad? Why are you late? Why is he angry? Why are you sick? So different questions using why with the verb. Vamos con where. Alguna pregunta con where. Utilizando el verbo be más el where. Where, where are you now? Where, where are you are now? now? Yes. Where are you from? Where are you from too? Where are you now? Where do you live? Where do you live? Where is your family? Where is your family? Where is the bathroom? Where is the? Bathroom. Where is the bathroom? Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. And we have some other statements using the bird. Where is the bathroom? Well, it's in the in the corner of the house. It's next to the kitchen. So we have possible answers that we can socialize. Okay, let's see the other uh, part of the equations we have here. We have also which, whose, how, and some general equations. Look at this one. Uh, which, we're talking about comparison. Cuando hablamos de which, nos referimos a cuál, pero cuando queremos comparar dos cosas. Which book do you like? ¿Qué cuál libro te gusta? The blue one or the red one? Decimos, which book do you like? Um, cuando nosotros usamos el which, estamos preguntando cuál de las dos opciones es la mejor. Por ejemplo, ¿qué pregunta podríamos hacer? Eh, which country do you like most? ¿Qué país te gusta más? United States or Canada? Which country do you like most? United States or Canada? Canada. 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 Okay. Uh, any other opinion? Which food uh, do you like more? Uh huh. ¿Y las opciones? Okay. Uh, pizza or chicken. Okay, pizza or chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I love pizza, but I love also chicken too. It's complicated to answer. Okay, which language do you like most? Uh, English or French? English. English. <laughs> okay. <laughs> French? Teacher. Yes, tell me. I have um doubt. Tell me. Which? ¿Qué significa solo cual o tiene otro significado? En este caso, en este caso, cuando es forma de pregunta, en forma de pregunta va a significar cual para referirnos a cual para opciones. Siempre que usamos el which eh, vamos a referirnos a ¿Cuál de estas? Es decir, siempre nos va a dar dos o más opciones. Ah, ok. Sería como para escoger de una entre otras. Exactamente. Ajá. Ah, ok. Perfecto. Thank Porque you. si yo quiero decir what, cuál, eh, puedo utilizar what. Eh, ¿Cuál es tu libro? What is your book? Pero en este caso, en singular. Pero cuando me refiero a dos cosas, usamos el which. Sure. Ok. Yes. Thank you. Tell me. I have a question. Yes. Uh, Uh, bueno, <laughs> se puede usar más de dos opciones. Con which, sí, se puede. Sí, con which. Yes. Okay. Um, uh, for example, which movie do you like the most? Minions or Lightyear or uh, Capital Planet or... Uh, Next, next, next. Of course, you can, you can do that because we choose like giving a reference about the best choice. So you choose the best choice for, for this okay. one. Yeah, of course, you can do that. <laughs> eh, vamos con who's. ¿Qué significa who's? Ah, ¿De quién? No. Yes, significa de quién. Por ejemplo, cuando yo, yo imagínense que de repente encontré un celular y digo, hey, you know what? 
Whose cell phone is this? Whose cell phone is this? Para decir en español, ¿de quién es este teléfono? Entonces el who's va al inicio porque es una figura de pregunta. Por ejemplo, veamos el ejemplo. Whose cat is this? Whose cat is this? ¿De quién es este gato? Oh, it is my sister's. Es decir, que es el gato de mi hermana. ¿Cómo diría yo en inglés? ¿De quién es este? ¿De quién es esta billetera? Who is this wallet? Yes, that's right. Whose wallet is this? Yeah, that's okay. What is this? ¿De quién es esta laptop? Whose laptop, laptop, laptop is this? Whose laptop is this? Whose laptop is this? Yes. yes. And this is my life. This is my laptop. Y la respuesta podría ser, this is my laptop. So we got that. Entonces, tenemos aquí algunas, eh, algunas partes. Tenemos, por ejemplo, how. Eh, decíamos que las la personas la pronuncian como how, pero no, es how. how. How do you go to school? ¿Cómo vas a la escuela? How do you go to school? I go to school by car. I go to school by car. How do you go to school? ¿Qué otras preguntas right. podemos utilizar con how? How do you do school today? Okay. How do you dress? How do you do? How do you do? How do you How do you learn English? How are you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> ¿Cómo pregunto cuántos años tienes? How old are you? How old are you? How old are you? Yes. Um, yes, that's right. So you're talking about the time. How old are you? I'm pretty good. Thanks. It's really great. Any other questions that you would like to add with how? ¿Alguna otra pregunta que quisieran formular? How are you doing today? How are you doing? How, you, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. So you could ask these formal questions is definitely important to discuss about that, right? And then we have the next one is how old, right? How old is the baby? He's uh, three years old. Acuérdense que para las edades, usted tiene que decir cuántos años tienes. I am. No va a decir I have, que es uno de los errores de muchas personas que dicen cuántos años tienes. I am 20. I am 30. I am 40. I am 19 years old. If I ask you, for example, Jose Fernando, how old are you? I am, I am my, and you, I am uh, my tank. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, the question is how old are you? I am. I am. Uh, repeat, please. The how, question. How old are you? I am. <laughs> I am. I am. Uh, el día me dijo diecinueve. ¿Cómo se dice diecinueve? Nineteen years old. Nineteen years old. 18 years old. Years old. Years old. 19 years old. Es importante I cuando am, hablamos con I nativos. Am, uh -huh. I am 19 old. Years old. Years, uh, no. years old. Yes, years. that's right. Cuando okay, hablamos okay. Con, con americanos, es muy importante cuando mencionamos la edad, la manera formal es decir, tengo tantos años de edad. Entonces usted dice years old. Menciona years old. Es como cuando yes. te preguntan, ¿y cuántos oh. años tienes? 20. Pero así como que 20, muy simples. Hey, ¿cuántos años? Ah, tengo tantos años de edad. You know, I'm like 19 years old, I'm 20 years old, 30 years old, so you can use in a formal way. Vamos con el how many. Este how many lo ocupamos para cosas que podemos contar. Cosas individual. Por ejemplo, ¿cuántos libros? How many books? 
I have uh, 10 books. How many cars do you have? I have three cars. And how many cell phones do you have? I have two cell phones. So you're using how many for countable things, cosas que podemos contar. How many books? There are four books. Hay cuatro libros. Por ejemplo, José Daniel, how many cell phones do you have? How many cell phones do you have? Cell phones? Do you know what is a cell phone? You make a phone call? ¿Cuántos celulares tienes? How many cell phones do you have? I have two. Two cell Okay. Awesome. That's great. Okay, uh, Jenny. Jenny Sarai, how many books do you have? We have um, three books. You have only three books? That's cool. <laughs> That's nice. Okay, Hector, how many how many books do you have? I have four, men, four, four books now. Four books now. Veronica, how many books do you have? Five books. Mm. Five. I have uh, ten books. Ten books. Okay. Let's see here. So we have, uh, and also we have how much. How much? Este how much lo, lo usamos para cosas que nosotros eh, contamos, pero que son eh, abstractos o no se pueden contar por individual. ¿Qué cosas nosotros no podemos contar por individual, sino que los contamos, eh, en inglés se le llaman uncountables. Rice, Beans. rice water. salt, Beans. water, rice. oil, sugar, sugar. water, <laughs> the sand, la arena, Eh, tenemos Sorry. money in general y cosas que nosotros no podemos contar utilizamos el how much sure. how, mu how much is the camera sure. qué preguntas podríamos utilizar con how much how much your lens how much your lens no oh. glasses Glasses, thank you. How much are your glasses? How much do you have? How much do you show? How much uh, are your glasses? How much are your glasses? Uh, glasses. How much money do you have? How much money do you have? I have. How much? How much? How much? How much love do you feel? Ah, okay. How much love? How much time do you have? Okay. How, how much, much is how much is the class of English cooperativo? Mm -hmm. Okay. How much time do you have? Because we it's something that we cannot count. That's correct. In the last one, how long? Cuánto tiempo? How long? Es para referirnos al tiempo, ¿verdad? ¿Cuánto es el tiempo que se va a tardar algo? Entonces usamos el famoso how long. How long? How long? ¿Cuánto tiempo? How long will it take? ¿Cuánto tiempo tomará? It will take two hours. How long room in the park? Entonces decimos en inglés, how long 
Uh, do you run in the park? ¿Cuánto tiempo okay. corres en el parque? Okay. How long? Um, how long speak English? Uh, ¿Cuánto tiempo hablas eh, o practicas inglés sería? How long will the class take? Okay. Time do you practice English? How long do you practice English? ¿Cuánto tiempo practicas inglés? How long is the English class? How long is the English? ¿Cuánto tiempo es la clase de inglés? How long do you sleep? Okay, <laughs> this is a good question. How long... <laughs> Do you sleep, right? ¿Cuánto tiempo duermes? How long do you sleep, <laughs> right? So we just like work in this, in these actually structures. Mm -hmm. How do you 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 Y vamos con la primera. Vamos a elegir eh, la mejor respuesta. Eh, which, who. Dice que está en Australia. ¿Cómo sería en la primera? Para el lugar, ¿cuál utilizaríamos? Where. Where is Canberra? Ok. It's in Australia. Where? Muy bien. Número dos. Vamos con la número dos. Dice, are John and Mandy. They are my friends. You. Who. who are Muy bien. Who. 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 Uh, yes. Uh, Número tres. Is, is your birthday? Me refiere a tiempo. When? When? When, when, is, your when is your birthday? Birthday. Muy bien. When is your birthday? Para referirnos a tiempo. La número cuatro dice is the is dams. It's a river. What? Where? Uh, what is what? the dams? In. Who is the what is Thames? Y la respuesta dice que ¿y qué es? It's a river. Eh, what ¿Qué is es? That? A river. Entonces usamos el what. What, what is that? But, but okay. is that what is... Es un río. Especifica qué es. Ah, es un río. Vamos con la número 5. Is the concert on Saturday? When Me refiero a tiempo. When, when, when. when. Así es. What is the concert? That's right. Number 6. Vamos con la número 6. Dice... Um, it's your school back is in my room. Where, 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 is, where, where, is, where is your school back? school back? Teacher, what is the meaning of school back? School back. Es como una mochila o un bolso escolar. Mm. Mm. Number, seven, number seven. Are London, Washington, D.C., in Paris? Where are London? Ah. Okay, which is what? the which is the capital? Which? Mm -hmm. Which is the capital? Number eight. Teacher. Yes. But in the number seven is no election. The the answer. They are capital cities. Dice que esas son capitales. Aha. Exactamente. Dice que are London, Washington. Entonces, ¿cuál podría ser el W equation? What? Ajá, exactamente. Muy bien. That's right. Great point about that. En este caso, no, no nos está preguntando que cuáles son, sino que qué son. Entonces, they are, they are capital cities. Buen punto. Great job. In number eight, am I, you are my best friend. How are you? How? No. Who I am? I... Who are you? Exactly. Le está preguntando quién es para quién soy yo para esa persona. Who am I? Who am I? And the last one. Are you? How are you? How are you? Where are you? Who are you? Exactly. Who are you? Who are you? Yes, that's right. Okay, you can see here in the chat also the answers, and the, so there are some exercises that maybe can be very helpful for you guys. And we hope to see you tomorrow uh, with our English class. And thank you so much for being here, taking the extra time. So 
si tienen alguna duda, alguna pregunta, me pueden escribir al, al grupo. ¿Alguna, alguna pregunta de gramática o algo. O me dicen, teacher, quiero un material adicional. Yo se los puedo compartir sin ningún problema. Así que eh, nos veremos mañana con nuevas temáticas. No se les olvide avanzar. Eh, no se les olvide avanzar, por, por favor, eh, lo más que puedan. Eh, como les repetía, tenemos que avanzar eh, la sección 1 y 2. Ok. Thank okay, you guys. Teacher. Have a beautiful teacher, night. Teacher. Okay. Bye bye. Thank you, teacher. Have a nice day. You too. Thanks bye a lot. Bye. God bless you. God bless you too. Have a beautiful night to all of you guys. Same teacher. Tomorrow. Have a good time. You too. Thanks a lot. I see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Have a great time. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.